Levantine have been known in ancient times and we can find reference to both elements in Old Testament, where they are frequently mentioned. Lead is one of the oldest metals employed by the human being. There are data about uh, 7000 before Christ of the use of lead in ancient Egypt uh, for making pottery glazes and lead statues, which have been found in Egyptian tombs. The metal was also used in hanging gardens of Babylon, which were floored with said uh, lead to hold the soil and retain its moisture. Lead was also extensively used by ancient Greeks and Romans as a protective covering for sieves uh, and to build pipes to carry water, respectively. But we don't know which person isolated lead for the first time. Similarly, in the case of tin, as happened with lead, it is also known from the antiquity, although it appeared later on time, being at first mistaken for lead. We don't know how tin was discovered or the person who first isolated it, but the, there is evidence of some utensils made of alloys containing tin, such as bronze from the 4th millennium before Christ. In fact, bronze was so important that a whole time period of history characterized by the use of bronze is named for it. The beginning of the Bronze Age is different depending on the region. While in Mesopotamia, Egypt and Thailand is considered that the period began about uh, 3000 before Christ, in Europe the period initiated in uh, 600 before Christ. With respect to the first time the element was isolated, is the documented the presence of on, uh, some utensils made from pure tin from the 1500 before Christ in the tombs of ancient Egyptian. Finally, according to Germanium, it was initially predicted by Mendeleev in 1871, who fiercely call, uh, called uh, Ica silicon, although it was not isolated until some years later. In 1886, C.A. Winkle obtained the element during the analysis of a new and rare mineral discovered in a mine uh, near uh, Freiburg, Germany. Precisely, Winkle named the new element germanium in honor of its country, Germany. Germanium, tin and lead are relatively rare elements and while tin and lead are extracted from the ores, germanium is mainly sourced nowadays from zinc ores. Let's examine the different processes of extraction of the three elements. The content of germanium in the earth crust is low, being in the range of 1 to 1.7 parts per million, and it has never been found as the native metal. There are only a few minerals that contain germanium in an appreciable, am uh, appreciable amount, although the element is highly distributed in trace amount in many other sources. One alternative for the recovery of germanium is from fluid dust and ashes from coal power plants in which coal has been obtained from deposits with a large concentration of germanium. However, the majority of the germanium is currently obtained as a byproduct of the zinc metal extraction. It results that zinc minerals have the large and recoverable uh, quantities of germanium and therefore the element can be easily extracted from the final ore concentrate. Thus, when this concentrate is heated with uh, hydrochloric acid and chlorine, it is possible to separate germanium tetrachloride from other metal chloride by simply fractional distillation. The refined germanium tetrachloride obtained can be then hydrolyzed to germanium dioxide, which uh, then is conventionally reduced to the metal employing hydrogen or carbon. In the case of tin, the metal is chiefly obtained from cassiterite, a mineral with the formula SNO2. The process consists on the reduction of the ore, which is previously prepared by a phase uh, of crushing and washing to remove lighter rock impurities, and a stage of roasting in order to drive off the oxide uh, of arsenic and sulfur. The rich ore is then reduced with coke uh, to about 1200 Celsius degrees in a reverberatory uh, or blast furnace. Due to the fact the temperature of the process is quite higher than the belting temperature of the metallic tin, the metal is collected from the bottom of the furnace as a molten uh, metal which is not pure but it contains some impurities such as iron, lead, sulfur or uh, arsenic. Therefore, the metal is then purified by different metals, uh, different metals uh, and finally electrolytically uh, refined. Finally, lead is by far 
the most abundant uh, of the three elements and it is present in several mineral ores. Although the only commercial important is galena, which essentially consists of lead sulfide, PBS. The process of extraction involves a first stage of crushing and grounding the mineral. Then, the ore is concentrated by selective flotation process in order to remove some of the impurities, such as other metal sulfides. The lead concentrate is then rust in air to the oxide, a process which serves to remove the sulfur or sulfur dioxide, as is shown in the following equation. Finally, the rust, uh, rusted material is mixed in a blast furnace with coke and a basic flux, such as limestone. The coke is responsible for the reduction of lead oxide to molten metal according to the following equation. equation. The presence of a base, uh, basic flux, such as uh, limestone, it is necessary in order to rid off the silica impurities present in the lead oxide to form calcium silicate. This slag floats on the top of the molten metal and can be drawn out through a hole uh, whilst uh, molten lead can be easily collected in the lowest part of the furnace. The lead obtained is called crude or bullion lead uh, because it contains different undesirable impurities such as copper, silver, gold, zinc, tin, arsenic and antimony and they should be removed. Different techniques uh, are applied to obtain pure lead. The first step is the softening process which uh, removes all impurities except silver and gold. The process consists of melting the crude and spacer to air for a few hours. Some of the impurities are oxidized and, volatil and volatilized as oxide, whilst the rest form a scam on the surface that is skimming off. Then there is a phase of desilverization to remove the silver, according to uh, Park process, which is an example of a liquid liquid extraction. The process is based on the preferential solubility of silver uh, in zinc and the fact that molten zinc is immiscible with lead. And finally, there is a last stage of electrolytic refining in order to obtain a cathode deposit of lead pure in a 99.99%. The purity can even uh, increase by other processes such as uh, sun refining.